Hey, how's it going, everybody? You made it just in time for the next episode of Plucky Squire. Last episode, got through the swamp, did a lot of puzzles and whatnot, but now we made it to Snail Village, I guess, and just about to hop into the 3D realm to look for a new weapon. So, good to go. The other two can just wait behind. Oh! Why is it all... medieval chain? Like, did Sam move things around while we were in there? Look, a magic card! I do remember seeing that- I do remember seeing that card in the original trailers. Oh, crap. It's okay, you don't die in this game. But I guess Sam just redecorates every day. Or he got some new co new toys. First step is to collect all the cash. Can we break the bushes for some cash? Oh, you can! Okay. You can't walk in the paint. Unless we find some water, maybe. It's probably water paint. Oh, Mini Beard. Word up, it's me, Mini Beard. Or to give you my full name, my talking Mini Beard. I'm a toy based on the character, Mini Beard, from the book, The Plucky Squire. It's all a little bit meta, but my vice is very practical. If you're looking for a long range weapon, then there's an elven warrior around here who owns one. She lives in a game card. Head upwards to find her. I might try and shoot you with arrows, but don't not take it personally. Okay. Surprised they didn't, they got they just called it game card. They could have called it like con the uh conjuring the card game or tradable card game. Just for a little magic. Ooh, a lot of cash. Is this clock real time? No, okay. It's seven o'clock where I am. I was hoping this was a real time clock. That would have been cool. Come on, go up. Oh, it's Paige. Uh, Jot, we meet once more. But alas, it seems the danger is on the horizon. Sonnet Swamp's least desirables have extricated themselves from the book. But it goes, does at least appear that you are suitably equipped at this time. Eradicate these interloper invertebrates forthwith. Okay, we got the, can we Goomba stomp them? I don't know if we can. I don't think we can Goomba stomp them here. Maybe only in the 2D realm. Or those 2D rooms like uh, Link's Awakening parts. Another mini beard. How do you... How do? You need to head upwards. You'll want to find a block to climb onto. I'm sure there's one around here. Very sensitive to the proximity of plastic blocks. It's a family trait. Okay. Then we push over here, I think. Oh! I can reach the cache. And I saw Paige right here. This one, I'd say, is fairly hidden. Like, this one's fair. If you didn't see it, that's on you. Oh, I missed one. Ah, uh, some really concepting of game environments. Lots of skeletons skull being... skulking around. But I missed one. My guess is that it's underground still. Can I just make the jump? Yep. Now, anything I do miss, hopefully there's New Game Plus, or it just tells you what pages you've missed it on. Because I am going to go for 100% completion of this game, of course. We're going for the Platinum. Hey, okay. release the trap. Anything else I can do here? And hopefully nothing's missable, like, in case I have to replay the whole game to get, like, one collectible or something. That's the worst possible scenario. Okay, drop it, and then bounce! Keep climbing. 
Game's auto saving right now. A Rubik's Cube! That looks like a high end quality Rubik's Cube, too. Okay, up we go. Oh, yeah, you have to hold it. Away we go! Made it. Anything back here? In case I missed anything? Nope. Destroy anything we can for a little bit of cash. Like, you're not allowed to touch him even during the combo, but most of Jot's attacks, like, move him forward. Hey, what's this one say? Greetings! You'll need a key to get through that castle door. I think I saw one around the side of the castle. Try exploring the sketches on the walls. Exploration! That's the key to finding the key. First, I'd take out every enemy, though. That was a nice impact slash. That just made a nice sound effect. There we go. Go on that side, take the side, the other side of the castle, grab the key, and then work my way back, probably. But yeah, I think rolling's the fastest way to get around this game. By like a sliver of speed faster. Probably don't even have to kill these guys. You probably just walk around them. Don't see any collectibles. Now are we gonna walk into the castle or oh it's probably drawbridge go down, then we have to hop out. Nope. There we go. I'm out. Gonna be a fight in oh, collectible. What's this one say? Enemy ideas number one. Sometimes it's useful just to draw a whole load of enemies without too much thought as to how they'll be used. You can pick the ones you like afterwards. Uh, I would say... Oh, there's the, the goblin that's being used. The snake looks a little too much like a snake from Zelda 1. Ball of yarn, cactus... I would say the little goblin... No, the first one looks like a more of a goblin than the one they put in this game. The last one just looks like Captain Caveman. Anything else around? Secret collectibles? And there's a few things I can do here. I'm assuming that's the right way to go with the spring, but I'm going to check over here first. Uh, I got to talk to that Moonbeard too. Pick up the spring, bring it back. I think this is a dead end. But if it's a dead end, I'll check it first. Oh, no, it's all connected. At least grab the cash. All right, now, good adventuring. Keep it up. Oh, that's it. No other treasure secrets? No. Nope. I guess just bring the spring over. A lot of backtracking so far. But yeah, I'm really hoping there's like a whole chapter he plays Violet, or a whole chapter he plays Thrash. Like, why bring him along when they're just gonna talk and you don't get to use them? Anything else? Nope. Okay, hop in. Oh, that's a wall. Okay. It's like Death Mountain in Zelda. Made it. Here's the magic card. Anything else I can do? 
can jump off the face of the planet. Nothing really happens, though. What's this? Another intruder. I can see a thieving gleam in your eye. Well, <laughs> come on in! <laughs> Show me what you've got, rascal. Fight, guard, talk. Uh, just talk. Got tried to talking. Now it's not time for words, but for battle. Feather in your cap. Quivers with fear. Scoundrel. Okay, guard? It takes defensive position. Air barrage receives heavy damage. That's not heavy damage. No doubt you rue entangling with the forest elves. Bite? Uh, go for a stab. Receive damage. Arrow strike. Now try talking? I do not converse with scoundrels. You will not soon forget the song of my arrows. Talk again? I will not talk with you, but my arrows will sing. How do you like the points of these arrows, scoundrel? I feel like the text moves a little too slowly. There's no way to fix that. It seems that you really wish to talk. I do not. Keep doing it. Insistence on conversation grows wearisome. I see panic in your beady eyes. Keep doing it. You're becoming quite annoying. Talk again? Now is not the time for words, but for battle. How do you like the points of these arrows, scoundrel? Uh, I think she's tapped out. Quick little check, though. Yeah, okay. She's done. Oh, wait. She'll not have this bow. Talk to her again? I will not talk with you, but my arrows will. Okay. I see panic in your beady eyes. It's saying the same thing. Slash. Barely did any damage. The feather in your cap covers the fierce count. Okay. Stab! I doubt you're true rue entangling with a forest elf. Actually, what happens if you do lose, anyways? Talk now? Seems that you really wish to talk. I do not. Shall I not receive this book guard? I don't know, like, do we have to just keep pummeling? What do you mean it missed? It's Paige! Jot is I, Paige the bookworm. You seem to be in a desperate predicament. Let me revivify you. If I tell you your sword, I may have also spruced up your offensive capabilities. Last shot, that was a one-time spell. I cannot revitalize you no more. I come this skirmish is now entirely up to you, Plucky Squire. Sorcery matters not. I shall dispatch you once and for all. Battle on. Brutal slash. Rushing stab. Go with brutal. Real damage. Okay, now we got some safety. You don't give up, do you, Rapscallion? Try rushing stab. There we go. Still you persist, intruder. Has spell protection. Attack power. I will de destroy this elven bow before I give it to you. The elves will never let your we we their weapons be used for evil purposes. You can tell that to your boss. What was his name again? Yes, Humgrump. Jot, did you hear that? Two question marks. It seems that she has erroneously identified you as an agent of Humgrumps. Let's talk to her, Jot, former of the truth. I think I can reproduce the spell that she cast to buy us some time. Okay. Oh, attack power fell. Okay. Well, that's it doubled the first time. And now let us finish it. Okay, now talk. Stop all this fighting. Okay. You expect me to believe that. Talk. Your enemy, but what do you mean? Keep talking. I'm on a quest to defeat him. You mean you are not his underling? Most assuredly not. John is champion of his land. Driving to defeat the dastardly humgrump and put a stop to his mischief. 
Is that so? Now that I take a closer look at him, he does seem to have a somewhat heroic countenance. Alonia, we wholeheartedly apologize for disturbance we have dis precipitated. We are searching for a weapon to help clean up Humgrub's chaos. Your from bow seem like it could be advantageous to that regard. Advantageous to that regard. But we did not mean to cause any turmoil in your forest. <laughs> your, like, two-by-two two forest image. I've decided I shall lend the elven bow to you. Any enemy of Hungrump is a friend of mine. I can see the aura of good about you now, Jot. Receive the elven bow. Exceptional. Exit. I'm free! The bow has finished assisting you. It will return itself to these forests. Luck on your quest, young Jot. Our battle was most bracing. There's my shortcut. Oh, I thought that was going to be a portal. You got the bow! Made a good tag team, don't you think, Jot? So it seems that Humgrump's forces have made their outside of the book. Their way outside the book. This does not bode well. Here, jump into the sticky note. You'll be able to get down to the desk and back to your book. Is it gonna, like, fly down? Nope. I, was, I thought the sticky note was going to, like, drift down to safely or something. I'm free! Okay. Hop back in the book. <laughs> Got the bow. Let's go. Jot, welcome back. Did you get what you were looking for? Oh, I thought they were going to keep talking. I don't like how it keeps stopping like that. Here we go, lad. Go wallop him. Okay. Violet, come on. You're not coming with. Bugs. This... Only three of them. Shot oh, muscle jot. It was time to put its powers to the test. Is it a mini game? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, little mini game. I'm assuming X. Yeah, fight. Oh. Okay, you can hold it. Oh. That's not how I thought it worked. Oh, it does have a duration. Okay. Uh oh. It's not quite Duck Hunt, but... I would say when it's about red, it's a one-shot. Well, you're not supposed to go as far as you can. Gotta right kill 30 of these? Oh. Come on! Oh, I got some health back. Yeah, I thought it's just the path it takes. It's not like where it is. There we go. I'm charging too soon. Hey, he moved. You can't get it once it's that far. Oh, they are shifting like crazy now. Yeah, you can't get it if it's that close. There. Yeah. Like, there's no point even aiming for the ones that are flying. The lucky squire had squashed the bugs. Muscle Jot is the best Jot so far. If it's for every mini game, that's fine. Thank you for the bottom of our mollusk carts. Not the last of those bugs, though. I've had word that there are more ahead. They say their leader is a big oral bug with flashing eyes. Better wits about you, adventurers, and good luck. Treasure lad. Nimble nimbles. Whatever that means. What a story this will be. Our house saved by the plucky squire. Send him packing. You're good on. 
Such pluckiness I've ever seen. Thank you. Okay, away we go. Do I just walk in? You've reached Snailford upon Avon. Nice, beautiful town. At least it was. Is it like a whole other dungeon? Oh, geez. Okay. And it's got word puzzles again. Yeah. Okay. So I'll call it quits for this episode here. And next episode, we'll just take on this Snail Upon Avon area. Hopefully, we see our first boss maybe next episode. And then after that, probably reach Artisan, wherever that town... I think it's Artisan. That's the town's name. 